Hey guys, what is up? Welcome back to the channel. It's going to be a pretty quick video today. just want to show you how to build a temperature controlled spawn or substrate incubator. This build I'm going to show you is very effective, pretty inexpensive to put together, and super energy efficient. So we're just starting out with one of our 105 quart Sterilite totes, and we're going to add a aquarium heater, which I'm showing you here. This has a temperature control dial on it. You can set it to whatever temperature you want and it comes with this mount that has suction cups on it so you can suction cup it right to the bottom of your tote. So once you have your aquarium heater securely attached to the bottom of your tote we're going to start adding some water. So these aquarium heaters are designed to be completely submerged so we're going to add enough water to completely cover it plus about an inch. You want about an inch of water above the top surface of your heater. So we're going to go ahead and measure here for the particular heater I'm using we're at about three inches of water just under. So next we're gonna be nesting a second tote down inside the first, and we have enough water in here that that second tote should not come into contact with that aquarium heater, but just to make sure, we're gonna use some four ounce canning jars, and I'm just gonna put four of those down in the water, and when we nest that second tote in, that's just gonna make sure that that bottom doesn't get compressed down into that aquarium heater if you add a bunch of weight with jars and substrate bags. It's pretty common to get some air bubbles once you nest that second tote down in there, but that's not a big deal. You can just push down gently on the bottom and work those right out of there. Then we're just gonna add a lid, and I always cover it with a bath towel as well, just for some extra insulation, give it some shade. And my ambient temps in my basement are really low this time of year, so it's nice to have one of these around. Sometimes it doesn't even get above 60 degrees Fahrenheit down there. So especially for species like it warm, this is a really nice tool to have. Some people like to use heat mats like those for starting seeds. Those are relatively energy inefficient. They can lead to hot spots that can cause contamination. So much more smooth even heat here. I'm just going to kick on and off, control your temperature. So hit me up in comments. Let me know what you think and I'll catch you next video.